Quetzalcoatlus, the largest known flying creature. Quetzalcoatlus lived on the territory of modern Texas, USA. Its fossils date back to over 67 million years ago. Quetzalcoatlus got its name from Aztec mythology. It's named after the feathered serpent god Quetzalcoatl. It's the largest flying animal ever discovered. Its wingspan reached up to 40 feet. Quetzalcoatlus had a dinosaur-like appearance, but it was actually a pterosaur. This group of flying reptiles was related to dinosaurs but it formed a distinct lineage. Pterosaurs were the first vertebrates to fly. Like modern birds, Quetzalcoatlus had hollow bones, but previous studies suggested it couldn't fly. It couldn't use a running start. If it tried, its wings would hit the ground. Now it suggested that the creature used a jumping start. It could launch itself up to eight feet in the air. This would give it enough space to flap its wings. Once in the air, Quetzalcoatlus would have soared. Its flying style would resemble modern condors. Quetzalcoatlus could ascend to altitudes of 15,000 feet. It could reach speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. Its large head may have helped it to complete turns. To land, Quetzalcoatlus would act like an airplane. It would slow down until it was about to fall off the sky. Then, the creature would touch down. Quetzalcoatlus was likely warm-blooded. This would allow it to maintain a high level of activity. It's essential for long-distance flight capabilities. Quetzalcoatlus walked on four legs. Its wings would have only been attached to its front limbs. Its flight muscles would be attached to its breastbone. Quetzalcoatlus was first discovered in 1971. Hundreds of bones were found in Big Bend National Park. The species was described from the bones of the left wing. Many smaller bones were also found in the area. Scientists analyzed them decades later. These bones had several differences from the larger ones. These include changes in its skull structure and spine. The species was named Quetzalcoatlus lawsoni. This species had a smaller wingspan reaching 20 feet. It was found in rocks dated to 69 million years ago. Quetzalcoatlus inhabited an evergreen forest. It hunted in the water like a modern heron. It would snatch critters like crabs and clams with its beak. The larger species likely hunted solo, but the smaller species would flock. They would come together for at least part of the year. The fossils of over 30 individuals were found at one site. Quetzalcoatlus became extinct around 66 million years ago. It was probably due to the impact of an asteroid. The asteroid collided with what is now the Yucatan Peninsula. The impact caused the worst extinction crises in history. It claimed a variety of creatures, including the pterosaurs. 